Welcome back to the channel everybody. So today I'll show you how to simulate ropes with Tileflow. If you are already subscribed to the channel, it would be awesome if you could click on the bell and select all. This way you will get a notification every time I upload a new tutorial so you don't miss any. And as always, I would appreciate a thumbs up if you've been enjoying the tutorials. So first you're just gonna create splines and create a helix in our case, maybe 12 turns and hit E to rotate and just sort of align it with the hand over here. And I'll just adjust the height and maybe scale it down and move it sort of above the hand like this. Then let's just create a tie flow. Let's do birth spline because we need to give birth to particles along the trajectory of the spline. So I'll just say pick and let's lower the percentage here to something like 0.2. So this will control how many particles there are along the spline. It's hard to see, so I'll just do display geometry. And let's do tap and type in shape, enter. And let's give it a 3D shape of a sphere, maybe low res. And let's enable the scale and scale these spheres up to maybe 150%. Well, let's just do 200%. So basically you don't want these spheres to overlap, but you want them to be close enough to avoid any kind of big gap. So I'll go back under burst spline and set the percentage to maybe 0.1. And that should fill it in very nicely. So that's perfect. Then let's do a physics shape operator. So immediately all of these spheres will become just physics objects and fall down. But we need to bind them together in order for this to behave like a rope. So I'll just do physics bind operator. So let's set the type to joint. So now they're bound together, but they're not interacting with the hand. So I'll just do physics collision operator, say pick and pick my hand and go forward. Right, so the physics collision is set to convex, which is basically just the rough shape of the hand, but it's not exact. So we need to change the hull type to mesh to get accurate interaction with the hand geometry it's a bit crazy toward the end so what you can do is add a slow operator so i'll just click here again do tap slow enter now to improve the accuracy of the simulation once again we need to go under main settings and set the time step to either half a frame or one fourth frame so i'll do one fourth frame so essentially each frame is divided into four separate frames and each one is simulated to avoid any kind of intersection problems so this is what we have right now it's not bad we're almost there this is the base for our effect so i'll just hide the spline so it's not in our way so just to improve the accuracy of this a bit more, I want to go back under physics bind and here it says bind distance. So this is the distance between the individual binds or basically between the individual spheres. So I'll just lower this to maybe something like three centimeters. So now that the binds are shorter, we're getting a slightly nicer result. Now, one more thing that I'm seeing is that some of these are getting sort of stuck together and that could be because of friction. So you can go back under physics shape dynamics and let's reduce the dynamic friction here to zero so the dynamic friction is basically how much energy each individual particle loses when it hits another particle so if this value is high each particle loses a lot of energy upon each collision which can end up looking like they're getting stuck together so let's just make this zero and one last step to making this actually look like a rope is to add the spline path. So save your work always because sometimes it can crash. And I'll just do spline paths, create new, and set it to physics bindings. And now just to give it some thickness in the viewport, you can select tie splines, select tie spline here and enable in viewport. So now you can see that and you can click on display here and just disable the display of the sphere. So all you see is the tie spline. All right, so I just switched to my original scene so you can see exactly what I did to get this result here. So this is my rope simulation, basically under tight splines. Just make sure you check weld bindings to get rid of any gaps in the spline measure. You can increase the interpolation of the spline, so I did 10 steps. I did 12 sides for the two and a radius of 0.75 centimeters. And then I just added some of my typical sort of shiny metallic materials. So if I enable my VRA IPR, this was my final result. So 
Super easy, super fun to set up. Definitely play around with this technique. Hope that you guys found this helpful. If you like these kinds of tutorials, as always, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.